afternoon and welcome to the Cathedral Basilica of St. James. Today is Monday, the 13th week in Ordinary Time, and we celebrate the memorial of St. Junipero Serra, priest. Please join in singing our opening hymn, number 646, God is Working His Purpose Out. Number 646, God is Working His Purpose Out. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, today is the memorial of Saint Junipero Serra. He was a Franciscan missionary from Spain, established nine of the California missions, and he baptized over 6,000 native peoples, and he was canonized in 2015 in Washington, D.C. by Pope Francis. And as we honor St. Junipero Serra today, we ask him to intercede for us. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and, sin, and, and, and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who by your ineffable mercy have been pleased through the labors of your priest, Saint Junipero Serra, to count many American peoples within your church, grant by his intercession that we may so join our hearts to you in love as to carry always and everywhere before all people, the image of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
a reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, for three crimes of Israel and for four, I will not revoke my word because they sell the just man for silver and the poor man for a pair of sandals. They trample the heads of the weak into the dust of the earth and force the lowly out of the way. Son and father, go to the same prostitute, profaning my holy name. Upon garments taken in pledge, they recline beside any altar, and the wine of those who have been fined they drink in the house of their God. Yet it was I who destroyed the Amorites before them, who were as tall as the cedars and as strong as the oak trees. I destroyed their fruit above and the roots beneath. It was I who brought you up from the land of Egypt and who led you through the desert for 40 years to occupy the land of the Amorites. Beware, I will crush you into the ground as a wagon crushes when laden with sheaves. Flight shall perish from the swift and the strong man shall not retain his strength. The warrior shall not save his life, nor the bowman stand his ground. The swift of foot shall not escape, nor the horseman save his life. And the most stout-hearted of warriors shall flee naked, on that day, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to cross to the other shore. A scribe approached and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But Jesus answered him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel presents us with some of the challenges of discipleship. Already the Lord Jesus defined true discipleship when he said, It is not those who call upon me, Lord, Lord, who would inherit the kingdom of God, but those who do the will of my heavenly Father. And so discipleship is not only about following, but it is also about doing. The disciple is the one who learns from the heart of the Lord, and then he is sent to bring the good news to others, to heal the sick, to comfort the sorrowful, to treat others with justice and dignity. We see how the Lord Jesus challenges the scribe who has approached him and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. We know how much the Lord has clashed with Pharisees and scribes, calling them hypocrites many times because they were concerned only about themselves and they never cared much about others. They were very judgmental on the conduct of others and paid little attention to their own conduct. They were legalistic towards others and showed little mercy. They did most of the things for a show, to attract the admiration of others, but their hearts were not in what they were teaching or saying. As we say in the popular language, they could talk the talk, but they could not walk the walk. 
the Lord challenges this scribe and points out to him that the Son of God has no place to lay his head. The Lord Jesus went from city to city, from place to place, to proclaim the kingdom of God. He was essentially an itinerant preacher. He called his disciples to do the same. He said to them, leave everything behind and follow me, and they did. The question now becomes, is the scribe ready to follow in the footsteps of the master? Is he willing to leave everything behind and to renounce attachment to material things and worldly pleasures for the sake of the kingdom? Is he willing to accept the sacrifice that comes with following Christ for the salvation of the world? All these questions do apply to us also. The Lord is challenging us today to follow him wholeheartedly. To be a Christian is not for a period of time. We cannot say, well, I will follow Christ for five years, and after that, I will explore something else. Or I will put the teachings of Christ into practice for 10 years, and after that, I will seek something else. No, we cannot do that. Once we are baptized and we become disciples of the Lord, it is for life. And the teachings of the Lord have to become the norms of our lives so that we may have an impact in the world and change the world for the better. Discipleship is challenging indeed, but we can count on the grace of God so that we may endure and we may persevere for the sake of God's kingdom and for the salvation of the whole world. Please stand. Gathering our needs and petitions, we bring them before, before God, our Heavenly Father. For all bishops, may the example of Jesus inspire them in humble service for God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. For nations engaged in conflict, may the Prince of Peace lead them to peaceful resolutions let us pray to the Lord. For homeless, may God, for homeless people, may God provide resources for them to find a place to call home. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here and those watching through the media, may our Heavenly Father bless our outreach efforts let us pray to the Lord. For the souls of the faithful departed, especially Craig Walker and Mary Bevins, for whom this Mass is offered, may they enjoy the eternal peace of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. For our own intentions, which we hold in the silence of our heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Look with kindness upon the petitions we have brought before you this day and grant them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gift we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of St. Cunipero Serra, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Junipero Serra, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our Father, we have wandered. Number 955, Our Father, we have wandered. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and in deed the faith for which St. Junipero Serra never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 872, We Shall Rise Again. Number 872, We Shall Rise Again, verse 3. <laughs> 